Item number, SCP-563, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. As all carcasses of SCP-563-A have been removed from SCP-563, minimal containment of SCP-563 is required. It is to be surrounded by a perimeter of motion trackers at every 3 meters, which are remotely monitored by Site 1265A, 15 kilometers away. Mobile Task Force Xi-22, codename Hannah's Barbarians, is tasked with locating and containing other instances of SCP-563 and finding information pertaining to the Ancient Dragon Culinary Corporation. Currently, MTF Xi-22 is working with the governments of South Korea, Japan, and the People's Republic of China to covertly outlaw the trade of SCP-563-B instances and recall any existing instances, citing food safety concerns. The government of the People's Republic of China is currently collaborating with the Foundation to find sites similar to SCP-563 and locating living instances of SCP-563-A for study. Description SCP-563 is the designation for an abandoned plot of farmland located in Hubei Province, China. The facilities of SCP-563 have been modified for the factory farming of animals weighing up to several tons. SCP-563 is equipped mainly to handle large poultry, but other animals were raised at the facility. SCP-563-A refers to the carcasses of the presumed livestock of SCP-563, which were found at time of recovery. SCP-563-A instances were several species of dinosaur and related reptiles that lived in China and Mongolia in the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods. For a partial list of recovered specimens, see Log 563-5. When alive, SCP-563-A instances were presumably farmed to create instances of SCP-563-B. SCP-563-B is the prehistoric food line of products made by a company known as the Ancient Dragon Culinary Corporation. Records of this company have been found, but as of writing, the location of the primary business office and other facilities used to make SCP-563-B are currently unknown. SCP-563-B products are sold in several East Asian countries, but have been discovered in some supermarket chains in the USA. Various instances of SCP-563-B include a pot of sours, an instant ramen made with sweet and sour sauce, and the meat of an unknown sauropod, presumably a smaller, easier to contain dinosaur, similar to Abrosaurus dongpoi. Notably, chunks of gastroliths have been found in this product, suggesting it is partially made with stomach meat. Ancient Dragon Velociraptor Noodles Instant noodles made with an assortment of meat from several dinosaurs as well as pork, rice, and chunks of melon in what is advertised to be a velociraptor broth. Testing of broth is inconclusive. Product reportedly tastes like high-quality instant noodles, with a high salt content. The first product of the Ancient Dragon Culinary Corporation to be sold in the USA in the specialty supermarket chain. Dragon Bone Tea Powdered tea advertised as being made using the bone meal of various species of dragon. DNA testing has shown that the particles are partially derived from non-fossilized dinosaur bone, but approximately 75% of the test results have been inconclusive. To date, this is the only product made by the Ancient Dragon Culinary Corporation that has been recalled for safety reasons. Dino Snacks Sold in Japan under varying flavors marketed using anthropomorphic dinosaur mascots, including Takara Tyrannosaurusu and Riza Raputoru. Product resembles American pork rinds. Testing of the product has revealed that it is made of several species. Kentucky Fried Therizinosaur, a deep-fried poultry product sold as a frozen dinner in some parts of South Korea. As the name suggests, the meat is mostly made up of Therizinosaurus coloniformis. Reportedly, 
tastes like a very tough chicken. Kyoryu Kogan. Literally, dinosaur testicles. Sold primarily in Japan. Consistently found to be made out of meat of pterosaurs. Of the Jehalopteris genus. Advertised to increase sexual stamina and fertility in both men and women. Other non-anomalous products in this line include ginkgo soup and candied fern leaves. Records found pertaining to the Ancient Dragon Culinary Corporation list SCP-563 as Production Farm 22. Investigations into the existence of the other 21-plus farms and other facilities related to SCP-563 is currently ongoing. Log 563-5 a partial log of deceased specimens of SCP-563-A. A group of Microraptor Zawinus, found in a locked shed near the central office of the farm. Injuries indicate that they were shot at close range with 10mm rounds. Notably, two instances were found to still be alive, having avoided fatal injuries from the gunshots, and surviving on the carcasses of the deceased instances. All instances were found to have been wearing pet collars. Several hundred instances of Jeholopterus ninchengensis, presumably in an artificial nest, found in a large metal shed. Cause of death not immediately obvious. Testing showed that all instances had been exposed to cyanide gas. The carcasses of several species of unidentified sauropod, immolated found in a field surrounded by a highly powerful 15-meter-tall electric fence. Fence was found active upon containment of SCP-563, and contact with it resulted in severe injuries to a Recovery Force member. Burnt remains of several Keratopsian dinosaurs, including Protoceratops, were found near the aforementioned sauropod enclosure. Posthumous examination of all SCP-563-A instances found that up to 79% of the individuals found had a prion in their systems prior to their death. Testing on this prion found it to be similar to a prion that causes Kuru, suggesting that SCP-563-A instances had been fed or were feeding on the meat of the same species. Notably, most species of raptor found on site were immune to this prion. Addendum Document 563 ADCC 5. The following is a translation of a document recovered from behind a picture frame in the main office building at SCP 563. The document was partially damaged by mold. However, Foundation linguists have been able to reconstruct what they believe is an accurate rendition of the document. Dear Name Unknown, As the Americans say, we have hit the jackpot. Windfall, big time. No more simple frozen meals for this failing company. The jungle you pointed us to has given us quite a boon. The meat is delicious. The fruit is unknown. Most likely a synonym of delicious. And the seafood. One of the cooks made stir fry with ginger and... I suppose you would call them shrimp and clams. But honestly, I'm no paleontologist. It was the best thing I had ever tasted. And the eggs. Well, we're having difficulty finding unfertilized ones. The ones we do find either hatch or have babies, possibly embryos or zygotes, in them. But the things that do hatch, it would make an American scientist, most likely paleontologist, blush and then die of joy. We're sending back a few specimens to the leader. Next stop, unknown. Next sentence indicates a country to the north, most likely either Russia or Mongolia. Northward we go. With regards, Zo Song. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-562, Revel Rousers, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>